Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Pradwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to find the compound interest, given amount, rate of interest and time. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace we will write io string dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in an angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here in the declaration section we are going to declare all the necessary variables with the respective data type here i am going to write the data type float and then i am going to write pri amt that is principal amount next net amount and then i am going to write rate and then ci means compound interest and now let us declare some other variable of type integer for example time and year. Now we are going to write CLR SCR function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will ask the user to enter the principal amount rate of interest and time using cout statement. Cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write enter the principal amount rate of interest and time. So here I am going to write backward slash n, end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using c in stream extraction operator and we are going to take this variable principal amount stream extraction operator then I am going to take rate and then time here I am going to write time and put semicolon. Now I am going to initialize the principal amount to net amount so pri amt principal amount to net amount now let us write year is equal to one and then put semicolon now we are going to use the looping construct while so while is a keyword it should be written in a lowercase letter now we are going to check the condition year is less than or equal to time if this condition is true then the control enters into the body of while loop so curly open brace i am going to calculate net amount is equal to net amount into 1 plus rate divided by 100 and then put semicolon so as we already know how to calculate the compound interest the formula for finding out the compound interest is equal to here we can write principal amount into 1 plus rate divided by 100 to the power n so that is the number of years so this is the mathematical formula to calculate the compound interest so same is written over here now let us go for incrementing the year by 1 so i'm going to write year plus plus and then curly closing brace for this while iterative statement now i'm going to simplify compound interest is equal to net amount minus principal amount then put semicolon and i'm going to display the result using cout statement so cout stream insertion operator and here i'm going to write compound interest is equal to end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator and we're going to print the value stored in ci so ci stream insertion operator and endl then we are going to write c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i am going to write net amount is equal to end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator and then i am going to write net amount and then stream insertion operator endl and put semicolon now i am going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace now let us take an example here I'm going to write output. So when we compile and run this program, it will ask the user to enter the principal amount, rate of interest and time. So here I'm going to write enter the principal amount, rate of interest. Uh, actually it will be printed in a single line uh, because uh, I don't have space over here I'm writing down to the next line 
so it is going to print and time so after this colon we have got backward slash n otherwise you can write indel that brings the cursor down to the next line and whatever the number that you are going to enter it will be stored in pri amt variable for example i am going to enter 100 then rate i am going to enter 5 and time duration in terms of year i am going to enter 2 after this so principal amount that is 100 is equated to net amount so here i am going to write net amount is equal to 100 next year is equated with value 1 then we are going to check out this condition so year is what 1 is less than or equal to time so time duration is 2 here 1 is less than or equal to 2 yes condition is true once the condition is true both of these two statements will get executed so what will happen now i am going to write net amount is equal to net amount is what 100 into 1 plus rate is 5 divided by 100 okay next further we are going to simplify this particular expression so 100 into so 5 ones are 5 20 is a so it will become 1 plus 1 divided by 20 so this can be simplified as 100 into you can take lcm 20 into 1 is 20 plus 1 whole divided by 20 further we can simplify 100 into 20 plus 1 is 21 divided by 20 then you can go for cancelling 0 0 this 2 1s are 2 5s are now i'm going to multiply 5 into 21 so it will become 105 okay so this one iteration is over and after that it is going to increment the value of year by one earlier it was one now year plus plus will become two again control transfers to while and year is what now two is less than or equal to time duration is two so two is less than or equal to two yes condition is true once again again this particular statement will get executed so what is going to happen now once again we are going to calculate this compound interest here i am going to write net amount is equal to now net amount is equated with value what the latest value is 105 so here i am going to write 105 into 1 plus rate is 5 divided by 100 so further i am going to simplify 105 into this is 21 by 20 which is similar to that of these previous steps next i am going to divide this one by 5 4 za 5 21 za uh, one not 5 next again uh, you can simplify further this one uh, here i'm going to get 21 into 21 you can multiply here i'm going to write 21 into 21 so 1 1s are 1 1 2s are 2 plus 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 so it will become 1 4 4 40 1 divided by 4 so divide this one by 4 4 1s are 4 1s are 4 1s are 4 110 is a point 0.5 so it will become 110.5 will be saved in net amount next we are going to again control transfers to a uh, while and after that uh, like before this uh, the value of year will get incremented by one again so earlier it was two now it is three again control transfers to while so three is less than or equal to time is two three is less than or equal to two no condition fails once the condition fails the control comes out of the looping structure and it is going to print the next statement here it is going to calculate ci that is compound interest is equal to net amount is what 110.5 minus principal amount what was the principal amount principal amount was 100 right so 100 is equal to so this gives us 10.5 next we are going to write c out compound interest so it is going to print compound interest is equal to ci so ci is holding value 10.5 and just because of this endl cursor come down to the next line and it is going to print the next statement it is going to print net amount is equal to net amount variable is holding value 110.5 so it is going to print 110.5 so let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9
here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error i am going to press enter now let us execute this program for that i have to press control f9 here it is asking the user to enter the principal amount rate of interest and time for example i am going to enter principal amount as 100 rupees rate of interest 5 and then time duration 2 years and then i'll press enter here you can see it is printing compound interest is equal to 10.25 and the net amount is equal to 110.25 i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you